you know, I can't speak for everyone in the world, but if you're living in Toronto, Canada, there's a good chance you might be renting a basement. And then when you're renting a basement, more than often that your landlord might have internet already and they will share with you as part of your rent. And well, that's my case here. But then more than often that you are unable to be in control of the internet equipment. So you might not be able to pull a wire down. You might not be able to, well, you know, ask your landlord to move the uh, wireless router closer to you so you can make better signal. Just as long as it works, and that's part of the deal. But when you can move the equipment and you cannot pull a wire, and you don't want to spend a lot of money for another line of your own, there's got to be another method to do it. I mean, aluminum foil to improve the signal, it's not that realistic. I mean, for one thing, it'd be extremely ugly and takes a lot of space if you want to do it right. So up until now, I even have to use my uh, retired cell phone for a little USB teetering for the internet on my uh, main PC because uh, I bought an internal Wi-Fi card for that thing and then just because of where it is in the back it doesn't matter how I fiddle the uh, antenna it's not getting any better so you know for the most part it's alright I mean for your cell phone and stuff like that it doesn't need that much of speed so it's okay, but when it comes to your PC and stuff, you mean you need way more speed than it is that they have to offer, especially where you can place you can place your computer at the best spots possible for better signal. I mean, look at this. Look how little bars there are for the Wi-Fi, the very left-hand side one. So, uh, so that's that. But even though you get not so good signal at one spot, very often at the better spots of the house, you can get very good signals, such as right in the middle of the basement. Look, now it's way better. Proper speed this. There's my 42 inch TV. And look how big that case is. I mean, I can move that thing around to get it by the Wi-Fi, so there's got to be a better way. After a lot of thinking, I decided to get one of these things. Well, I think long and hard about what I want to get to fix this problem. I thought I get a really, really good, maybe USB Wi-Fi dongle or a very, very good internal Wi-Fi card. For about $50, that should do the trick. I mean, they got bigger antennas, two of them, etc, etc. But then I thought, that doesn't really fix the problem I have, that's just really fixing the problem with the desktop. The signal is still bad, my PlayStation 3 lags all the time on online games. Well, so I thought, I get a repeater, yeah, Wi-Fi repeater. So I went to the Canada computers and I tried to find a repeater. The only thing they have are those, well, those things that you just plug into the wall without an antenna and stuff like that. I wasn't sure about those, I want to buy one that looks just like this. But they didn't happen for some reason. I saw on that website, or maybe I saw on a different website. Whatever. The story is, I went there. I didn't see anything, but I saw this. This is a um, TP-Link TLWA 901ND access point device. So I thought, uh, doesn't access point does the repeater too? So I look at the back. Sure enough, it does. It works as a repeater as well. So I thought, hey. I'll get this, the specs are very similar, and it has way more functions. So a uh, little bit of future proof there, no problem. So I got it, I bring it home, I never had any experience with devices like this. I don't know what to expect. I didn't know what to expect, so I plug it in. I plug all the antennas in, the antennas are pretty big, I like those. Three of them, cool. Well, I plug it in, I turn it on. I used my laptop and went into the settings. It's very simple to uh, set a repeater. All you have to do is really just 
typing your information for your Wi-Fi and it automatically does the repeating business I don't know if it's right to call it repeating but it will, it will do the, it will act as the repeater itself as soon, as soon as you set that up. You just have to choose what do you want the device to do. There's some other functions as well that's pretty cool such as you can turn it into a Wi-Fi device itself for a specific machine. It calls it the client mode where you can uh, plug it to your PC that doesn't have Wi-Fi and uh, you act like a Wi-Fi dongle. Very cool. And uh, you can also do other stuff. You can also add like access point which that's what the device is supposedly for um, that's not what I want to use it for and it's also very cool it comes with one of those uh, they call it AOE thing it supposedly it provides a power to your ethernet line to devices that can use this feature so that's pretty cool I have no use for it but it's nice to have it included in the package so those aside, I went home, I set it up, right now just on top of my couch, but I'm going to put it someplace nice. I set it up in the very room that had very bad signal, and then I shared it to, well, I have the repeater on, and uh, amazingly, everything is full bar, and the internet speed is very fast. I'm over here in another room, and then it's still full bar, look at that. The repeater is all the way in, well, I should say the access point is all the way in another room. Let me show you. It's the bedroom. I walk out of here. I walk over here. There's a wall blocking the two things. That's where the repeater is. So, if I put it right in the middle of the basement, maybe somewhere there or something, or maybe run on the table, who cares? You'll work just fine. I mean, look at this. All my devices, my cell phone, is full bar to Wi-Fi. Well, obviously, I'm right next to it. This cell phone should be the same. Sure enough, full bar. Well, well, there you go, full bar. My laptop, full bar. No, I don't actually think I should show you. There's no point because it's in the same room. But still, just to make a point, it's full bar. Well, let's run a little bit of. Uh, Speed test, shall we? AMS, that's pretty decent. And the speed is proper. For everyday use, this is just as good as if I actually plug in the wire. And I think the coolest thing about this is that I had this device plug in and right now functional as a Wi-Fi repeater in the room that had very bad signal before I had this device on. So that's pretty amazing. And then this device was only $50. Which if I want to get like a very decent Wi-Fi dongle, that would have already cost me over $30. Well, I don't mean the best you can find or gaming ones, I just mean something that's better than generic cheap as you can find stuff or if I want a little bit better that would have cost me fifty dollars anyway and for fifty dollars I don't only get a repeater I get an access point device which pretty cool and then I don't just use it for Wi-Fi it does have one Ethernet port and I plug the Ethernet port to the PC my PC is actually not running on wireless it's running on this Ethernet port so that works perfect. That really does work perfect. That's fifty dollars well spent. And I think the device itself is very very stylish. Look at this design on the top. I think it's very pretty. All those bands for cooling. Those antennas, the color scheme is fine with the white device. I think it look good. The power button in the back power plug and all the buttons easy to reach no problems and then the button pretty standard but standard is good in this case so yeah I'm very impressed with this device functionality wise I think it's excellent for the money and for what it does and this is totally recommended although uh, 
Obviously, I can't speak for the quality. That we will have to wait and see. If this device ever fails for reasons it shouldn't have, let's say uh, reasons in relation to quality, then I will make another video and talk about it. But otherwise, as for right now, functionality wise, this is pretty amazing. I'm very impressed. Highly recommend it. At this point, I already edited the video, most of it anyway, and I realized this thing pop up. I bet the video it was on the shelf earlier. Just in case, if you think this is a night pen, well, it technically is, but it isn't. This is actually a drinking cup, which in the style of the night pen, from a restaurant called The Modern Toilet. It was from two years ago when me and my wife went back to Taiwan for a visit and then uh, we went visit that restaurant and we kept this as a souvenir it's pretty cool yeah you drink iced tea out of this thing I purposely ordered green tea so you look like you know but well this is not a night pen that's all I have to say okay bye